Hello, collective. Let me do a quick energy check in today. A little short. Feeling spirit. Fasting. Getting grounded. I like to make jewelry when I'm getting grounded. It's very good for my energy. Thinking about that today. And what it is, you know, what does the collective do to feel grounded, to feel in touch with spirit? Ah. Oh, I like jewelry because it's a process of flow. Finding the flow with the stone, with the wire. Yeah. <laughs> An easy path. Swift movement forward. And the thing about this deck, I've always noticed there's this bush right here, and it's like if you're not looking down, if you're not paying attention to your path, what's in your path? What's in your way? What do you have to dodge? What does the collective have to dodge, spirit? What is in our path? So we're thinking we have a clear path here, like we're moving. We we can we can avoid that issue, but if that were an issue to arise, what would that issue be? Holy Spirit, please and thank you, Saint Michael, protect us. Energies are coming out fast and hard today. Oh yeah. Oh, hey guys, double aces, eleven. Hmm. We have a four of coins in reverse, which is like letting go of the scarcity mindset. And I'm seeing this is like absolute divine abundance once you do this. What's in your path? What's blocking you from this smooth sailing on that path is the scarcity mindset. Once you drop that scarcity mindset and you connect to the fact that the universe is abundant, you have access to whatever you need to manifest, you're going to start seeing these divine offers. You're going to start recognizing them. Passion, emotional fulfillment, unconditional love. Mm. I'll take it. I don't know about you, Collective, but I'll claim this reading. Ooh, Spirit. What else can you tell us? I like what's, uh, what's ahead if we think in our abundant spirit. What else can we look forward to if we remain in our abundance here. Oh, amen. <laughs> Let's remain in our abundance. What do we have here? I love this. All right, we have two cards that came out. We have the two of wands. And I'm seeing here, this is a ten of pentacles. It's the path to this abundant stability. This Oh, this fulfillment, this, um, I'm not, I, it's not wish fulfillment, but like every, everything that you need, everything you've ever wanted, it's the path, it's the path that leads there, you're listening to your spirit guides, and they're leading you to accept these offers of abundance in your life. When you accept these offers of abundance in your life and you learn to go with the flow and you don't tie yourself down, onward and upward, you know, you take care of, you take care of your own, you take care of you, you take care of your own, you take care of others. I love the spirit of abundance. We have that devil energy. 
Mm. Give me two more cards on this devil energy, Holy Spirit. Two more cards on the devil energy. Oh, thank you. Like, everything came out. Oh, my God. You guys, I got ten cards here. Hold on a second. Not ten, but I'm exaggerating. Amazing, though. Y'all, I can't even. Shut up. So we have... I'm trying to clarify this devil card, right? And we have a knight moving forward in truth. We have a karmic wheel. We have somebody working hard here, going towards a ten of cups, dropping burdens. I just want to point out here, this is what I think is so amazing. We have one, two, three tens. Okay, I like this is dropping burdens. Ten of Cups is the wish fulfillment. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, which is, you know, that foundation, that stability, that, you know, that, like, generational wealth coming through. Like, you're establishing yourself big time. Whatever is going on here, you can establish, just keep at it, you guys. You are creating the world that you want for yourself. You are creating your dreams. You know, you don't have to wait for this wheel to turn in your favor. You're creating it. And I also wanted to point that out. This was another 10. So we do have four 10s right here. Absolutely beautiful. Two 10s and a 1. Oh. So 21. This is just gorgeous energy, you guys. I just see nothing but beautiful energy here. All right, really quick, because we do have another minute. Let's get it's clarifying the devil. I almost forgot. I set the devil aside. You know, I think that's just telling me that's it. You know, if the devil is your bush... <laughs> This is your devil energy right here. It's that clinging energy. And when I legit put this devil to the side, all you get is this beautiful making your own, speaking your truth, moving forward, and making your own destiny there. You know what I mean? Mm, that was not an accident to put her aside, I don't think. Thank you, Spirit, for showing me that. Really quick, let's get, um, let's slip some oracle on this. Some mystical oracle. I'm sorry. It is the oracle of mystical moments. I do love this deck. Let's see what spirit has to say. Any advice or wisdom about moving forward? What do we have? We got two minutes left here for a ten minute tarot. What do we got? Pure nature, you guys. Keep in touch. Get in touch. Get in touch with your inner self there. You know? Ground yourselves. Be sure that you're hydrating. You know? Be sure that you're remembering that you are part of this universe and you have needs that need to be met in order to grow, in order to bloom, in order to prosper. All right, two more cards, Spirit. Two more Oracle cards on um, advice for my collective. Oh, beautiful butterfly garden. Queen Bee, y'all, look at this beautiful transformation. I love this. I love this. Take care of yourselves. Take care of yourselves. Take care of those, you know, I really see a lot of, like, healing of the root chakra here. There's healing of the root chakra is going to lead to a really wonderful transformation of your heart chakra. And you are just going to be unstoppable. Like, everything is going to be provided. Oh, I like it this way. Like moving right up through all your chakras. You know, take care of you first. The universe will provide. Mm. You are transforming this situation. Get out of the scarcity mindset, guys. Hold on to that, that willingness to accept abundance. Peace all. Love ya.